welcome back to my channel on Cloud Mylan. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. But if you're not new to this, but you true to this, thank you so much for tuning in for another video. I know, I know, I know. I was cranking out the content twice a week for you at the beginning of this year but you guys i started back working i work 10 hours a day i still have two babies and their babies like two under two um got a husband got a whole bunch of stuff going on i work some weekends in the midst of planning a gender reveal for my very close friends so things got a little crazy um my laptop has started working but you know what those are all excuses and guess what I'm not incompetent, so I will not use them. But I will apologize for my absence. I've been trying, I've been trying to continue to produce content for you all, but it has been rough trying to get back in the routine of going to work and then coming home and being a mom and a wife and then um, trying to record a video. So major shout out to people that work full time, have kids, are married and still do YouTube consistently. I have not reached your level of expertise, but I'm trying, sis. I'm trying. Um, however, I am back. Got a new charger for my laptop, so I'm able to edit on my laptop again. I hate editing on my phone. I hate it. I hate it. But um, got a new charger, so I'm able to edit videos on my laptop again. Got a new camera. Um, and if you don't know, I have been using my, my phone to record my videos. Um, and I got a new phone. So new camera, but um, now I'm re-motivated. I do not know if I can produce two videos a week for y'all just yet, but I'm at least trying to crank out once per week because I know that y'all miss seeing my pretty face. But I'm back and I'm better. So in today's video, this is the third part of my three-step makeup routine. If you have not done so already, please head over to my channel and check out part one, which was my step-by-step -step eyebrow routine. Part two was my step-by-step -step eyeshadow routine. And this video is part three. That's like my foundation concealer routine. Um, I did do my eyeshadow in this video um, just because I feel like that's part of what I do to achieve my look. Um, but I'll explain it in the video. I really talked about that in the video. But um, yeah, so if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please, please, please stay tuned. I'm so sorry if this video is like all over the place as far as me talking. And I'm just out of whack. I'm out of whack. I'm out of practice. But guess what? I'm back. I'm better. I'm going to improve. I'm going to improve. And um, just bear with me while I try to get my bearings back together as far as recording these videos for you all. I do think there's gonna be a shift in my channel to mainly like beauty and lifestyle for right now, um, just because um, it's kind of hard for me to focus on a lot of different lanes. So I'm gonna get in my primary lane. And I'm gonna stay in there until I master that lane. Then I'm gonna move on to other things. So um, people that like, makeup videos like this you're in for a treat because my channel will be focused mainly on that at least for the next couple of weeks or months or however long i feel the need to focus primarily on that but enough of me talking if you're ready if you're ready to see my step-by-step -step foundation concealer routine just keep on watching all right guys so for the sake of this video um i'm gonna start with like right before i do my eyes just because i start my um my foundation routine um right before i do my um, eyeshadow so the first thing that i do <clears throat> not the first because my eyebrows are already done but actually let's take it back so i usually prime my eyelids with my Sephora Beauty eyeshadow primer. And then I take a brush and I blend that all out. And I guess this is for the people that, you know, didn't watch the second video, which was my eyeshadow tutorial. You really can get a little, a little taste of what you missed in that video. But if you really want an in-depth eyeshadow tutorial, go 
on over to my videos tab and find that video. I will link it down below though, just in case you don't want to do all of that. Um, so I put my eyeshadow primer on and then while I'm kind of letting that, I guess, sit or dry, I um, take my concealer, which is um, Sephora Beauty's High Coverage Concealer and the color, I don't know, what color is this? Mm. Hmm. I don't know, it doesn't have like a, oh, 14 Anise. Hmm. So that is what I'm using underneath my eyes to conceal because I have like bags for days under my eyes and you know, I try to get that together, like, cause these dark circles gotta go. And so what I'm doing now, I'm really just spreading it out so that it can sit. I'm not really trying to blend it out right now. I'm just um, spreading it out all under my eyelid. I mean, all under my eyes so that it can sit and really kind of dry down a little bit so that it can last longer throughout the day. Um, now my bags are so bad that sometimes it kind of cracks by the end of the day. I don't know why, but I let my um, concealer sit. I set it with powder um, before I finish my makeup. But I guess my bags said not today, sis. I'm gonna show up and show out every day. But, you know, I do what I can to control them because if I wear makeup and I don't conceal under my eyes, it's gonna look like somebody punched me in both my eyes. But. Yeah, so I let that dry down while I do my um, my eyeshadow. So today I'm using the Morphe 9C palette. This was a gift um, to me by my good friend Shantia. It was a graduation gift, so I've had it for about a year now. Um, and I like it. I usually, I don't use it as much because, I don't know, I have other palettes that I kind of like more. Um then this one but i use it sometimes i'm really trying to start alternating more because i literally went through like a three month period where i only used jackie Ina's palette and i'm like why i have all this other makeup why am i not using it why 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 but i really come to the conclusion that i'm not using it i mean i'm only using that palette because none of the other ones really do what i need them to do like the payoff isn't as great. I have to like go in a, a bunch of times with the same color for it to show up how I really want it to show up. And then some of them make me look a little, a little gray. I don't like it. Like the Naked One palette, like it's discontinued. And I slick see why, because I just hated the way it looked on me. Like at the time that I got it, you know, I couldn't really tell because I was very, very new to doing my makeup and, um, I was excited just because it was the Naked palette. Like, I feel like everybody had it. I had to have it. Um, but since I've, you know, toyed with some other eyeshadow palettes and have found ones that do better for me, I kind of have noticed that that one wasn't for me, so I gave it to my mom. Then um, I had another BH Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette, which was literally the first eyeshadow palette that I, like, bought for real, for real when I got really invested into doing my makeup back when I was an RA and I didn't have no, 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 no money. So, um, I gave that to my mom as well because she's really trying to get into her eyeshadow and, and learn how to do that. And if y'all hear noise in the background, I'm sorry. Trevor's in the back with the baby. Marley's currently at Miss Toy's house chilling. We went over there yesterday to celebrate my good sis Kaylin's birthday. Girl, that's like, my bestie, that's my girl. I love me some Kaylin. And uh, we went over and her family is like super, 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 super good to my family. And if it's people that I'm definitely gonna show up for, she's one of those people. Because she always, 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 always shows up for me. And if I don't show up for Kaylin, know that it was something drastic happening that, that caused me to not do so. Because that's my girl and I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat her. And so last night, she had a little dinner to celebrate her birthday. And um, so the whole family went, it was at her house. The whole family went, cause you know, they're like family to us, you know. Um, Kaylin and her family are 
my daughter's god family i wouldn't even say just god parents like they're they're her family and so marley likes to spend a lot of time over there so when we got ready to go marley was like no nah, i'm not going so i was like oh you want to stay so she stayed and so um right now she's gone and we still have maddox of course um so trevor is back there with him now entertaining him and i'm sure himself so you guys might hear them um playing around back there or um or um the tv or something like that because they like it trevor likes the tv really loud and it really make my nerves bad but you know it is what it is so I'm finishing up my eye makeup now. Again, this is just like a brief, the only reason I'm doing this now is because it's really a part of my um, routine. And um, I feel like if I did not do my eyeshadow in this video, y'all would have missed an essential part, which is me concealing underneath my eyes. And if you guys have any recommendations for a good concealer that will help me with the dark circles under my eyes and not like crack throughout the day please comment down below because your girl needs help for sure but if you want an in-depth eyeshadow tutorial i'm gonna link the video down below and go watch it and like it and if you haven't done so already hit the subscribe button so now that i'm done with my eyes um, which is, this is like how I've been doing my eyeshadow all week for work. So this works for me. But if this is still like a little too much for you, you can use like a matte color instead of glitter on your eyelid, which is what I did. And I'm probably actually really going to start or record another um, eyeshadow tutorial video for those that don't really like the glitz, the glam, the glitter. You know, like my mother. Yes, mother, I called you out. And you better be watching this video. But anyway. So I have my beauty blender. This is a Sonia Kashuk beauty blender that I got from Target um, on the recommendations of the Glam Twins, which I love to watch. But I sprayed it with my spray bottle, so it is damp. And I'm just gonna take it and blend this concealer all the way out. When I went to Sephora to get this concealer, I really told the lady that I wanted to use it to like, as my highlight you know, color to highlight um, the high points of my face. But at, at the time when she was swatching it on my hand, it looked like it was gonna be a little lighter than it actually is. But it really looks like it's really my skin tone, just like, yellow, like I don't even say with a yellow undertone. That's how it's coming out on camera, but like with a more orangey undertone. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like I really could rock this concealer. <laughs> all over my face like because it like matches my skin tone which is not necessarily what i wanted it's not a bad thing because i think that um it's good to have a concealer that's your skin tone um for like more muted makeup days but ideally i will go back and get another concealer that is um a, like maybe one or two shades lighter um just to brighten under my eyes even more but as for right now, this is what works for me. So once I blend that out, I take my foundation, which is the um, um, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the color 360 Mocha. Um, this is like one of my holy grail products. Like when I'm not, you know, richy rich and I don't want to spend, you know, more than a couple dollars on foundation or you know it's not that serious i get this i used to really love the um l'oreal infallible pro matte um foundation but this one's even cheaper than that one and so uh, it works for me i feel like i found the perfect color and so this is like a holy grail for me so if you're wanting to really get into makeup or you want to um you know start getting into it but you don't want to really invest a bunch of money into it right now i highly suggest maybelline fitting um i use matte and poreless because i have huge pores and very oily skin so that's what i use um highly highly recommend 
But you know, when I'm in the big baller shot collar mood and I'm going to Sephora or well, Sephora, I get fancy, um, fancy beauty. But as you can see, this is really like the same color as the concealer that I put on my face. Hence why I feel like the concealer is not a highlighting concealer for me. It is just my skin tone. So I feel like the only thing it's really good for is to try to brighten the dark circles under my eyes. But I take my brush and I just kind of pat, swipe, pat, swipe. Some say it's not good to just like do like that with your, um, when blending your makeup. So I kind of pat and swipe when I feel the need to. And I just kind of blend it all over my face. I try to take it down to my neck too, but sometimes it's really not that serious when I'm just going to work. So sometimes I don't even pay attention to how far I'm breaking it down. But <clears throat> I go ahead and I blend that. Um, I like to use a flat head brush um, just because it's really what I started out using to begin with. And a dense flat head brush because like the loose ones I use for like powder and they really don't spread makeup well for me on my um, face. So it has to be dense. And this is a Sonya Cashew brush. I got from Target like three or four years ago. And I love it. I have different types of brushes that I've gotten from Sephora. Um, like one that looks more like a painter brush and then one that is kind of like shaped differently. But this is my favorite. This is what I really like to apply my, my foundation with. So if you really want my true recommendation, it would be a dense flat hair brush just because that's what I've been using for a while. And even when I try to get other types of foundation br brushes, this is what I love. So now that I have done that, I have blended my concealer out and I have blended my foundation out. I'm gonna take the same beauty blender that I was using, which um, may or may not be a good thing, but this is again, what works for me. And you know, it's used to look, I try to use the side that I did not just use and dampen. And I just put my beauty blender in there, in my powder. And I like try to set underneath my eyes with this powder. Uh-uh, hold on. This is not doing what it is supposed to be doing. Let me try like this. Because y'all, my spray bottle is, is broken because Marley untwisted the, the tip of it. So it's gone. <laughs> it's gone. It's probably under the couch or something, but if I don't find it, I'm gonna have to get a new spray bottle because the stuff, the water is not coming out how I would like it to. So, um, that's a no-go for me. So, um, I try to sit underneath my eyes and across my nose with the, with the powder because that is like where I am most oily. Um, I used to set like my whole face with powder, but, um, this particular powder is like very orange and I noticed that when I took pictures with the flash on, um, it looked, I looked ghostly and I did not like that for sure. So I usually don't, um, I don't use it all over my face anymore because I was like, nope, 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 nope. And so now I'm just going to highlight my cheekbones, which, I just take a highlighter that I feel is fitting for um, my look. I have two different ones. One that is more like icy and like pink and kind of silvery, you know, with the undertone. And then I have one that's more golden and warm. So it really just depends on my eye look, what I use for, um, for highlight. And so I will link all the products that I use down below for you guys so that you guys can see it. And um, next I'm just going to set my face and do my lips. And then that's really like the whole look. But you know what, my setting sprays and my air purse because it's the setting refresh spray. So I take it with me to work and my lip gloss is also on my purse. So let me run and get that and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm just gonna... set my face and uh it's very essential that I um set my face especially in the summer because I go in and out 
so much in my job and I be sweating and, and all of that. But um, I have to take my setting spray with me because my face is also like stupid oily. I feel like no matter what I do, um, my face is going to be oily. But to line my lips, I literally just use um, the same pencil I use on my eyebrows. So that same color I feel like is what I like to line my lips with. And again, it's only 99 cents. So why not use it for everything I can use it for and buy it in bulk because it's only 99 cents. But um, yeah. So as you can see, I feel like this is a very minimal look. I feel like when I'm really going down and stuff, I might do some some bronzing, some contouring, some highlighting, but just simply for work, you know, this is about it. You know, I do my eyebrows, do my eyeshadow, conceal under my eyes, put some foundation on, highlight a little bit, throw some lip gloss on and go about my day. Like it's not this serious when going to work to me. You know, I like to look presentable because I do work in customer service. I do work in sales. So who wants to buy from somebody that look like who shot John? Who wants to buy from somebody that look like yuck? You know, so gotta keep my hair done. Gotta keep my face on. Gotta keep my nails done. Also, while I'm talking about that, <clears throat> even though this is a makeup video, my hair, my lovely braids were done by Candice. You can find her on Instagram, Candice D artistry i will put that on the um video like right here where you can find her at candace d artistry um she does my hair she does my nails if i ever get my makeup done she's gonna do my makeup um so if you're in the memphis area and you need a nail tech you need your hair done hit her up hit her up on instagram book her she's the goat nobody can touch my nails but candace nobody can touch my hair but my other hairstylist and Candice, it really just depends on if I'm going natural hair or if I'm going weave. But Candice is the goat. She did these braids. They look super good. And it literally only took her like maybe four hours. Because I think we started at like 8 o'clock. We were done by midnight. Like did not take long at all. They did not hurt. They weren't super tight. And they look good. So if you're in the market to get your hair braided, Definitely hit up Candace again. It's at Candace D Artistry. Um, I will put the name right here so that you can see her. That is my girl. Hit her up. She also does my nails. I don't know if you can really see. It's kind of like a white acrylic, and this one has glitter on it. But that's my girl. I love her so much. So shameless plug to her. Hit her up if you're in the Memphis area. But yeah, so that's about it. As you can see, like I said, very minimal. Um, thanks for all right, you guys. That is it. I am done. As you can see, this is the the final look. Um, this is literally like my everyday um makeup routine. This is what I look like every day. My eyeshadow might switch up a little bit. Um, as far as the my the color on my actual eyelid, but my lips are the same. The steps I take are the same. This is it. So if you have been wondering how I achieve the look. Sorry about that. Um, apartment life. But um, if you have been wondering how I achieve my makeup look every day, this is it. It doesn't take me long. If I'm really in a rush, I really can do this in like 10 minutes. As you can see, if you haven't watched already, go watch my um, 10 minute makeup challenge. I literally did my makeup in 10 minutes. However, I did not. I'm not gonna tell you, but go watch that video. But yeah, again, I believe it's really simple. If you have any questions, please comment down below. If you got any tips for me, tricks for me, comment down below too. Um, if you have any suggestions for videos you wanna see in the future, please comment down below because this is the end of the series that I was doing my step-by-step -step makeup routine. Um, so the next few videos um, will probably still be makeup, not necessarily me teaching you how I do what I do or telling you how I do what I do. Um, probably more chit chat, get ready with me's and like product reviews and stuff like that. I did recently review the Sephora Beauty Amplifier um, line, some of the products that I've been using 
Um, so if you haven't seen that, I already head over to my channel and watch that. But I think I've kept you here long enough. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.